What's going on guys? Welcome to another instance of Magic the Gathering on the YouTube sensation known as the internet. None of that sentence made sense. And that's okay, because that's really what you want. And uh, we're going to be playing this standard deck, which is I've, I've uh, lovingly titled Sultai Counters, because it's Sultai and it's counters. And really, Vine Mare and Hadana's Climb is just uh, muy bueno, I would say. And, uh, what do you do? This is, uh, you just make the, get the flying and, uh, do a little thing and, uh, flip it. So, yeah, let's do that. Is there a snake? There's all the danger noodles. Alright, um. I think at the time I opened, like, six of them in different tabs and they all said all right at the same time in unison. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. All right, we're just going to play this deck now. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. And I'll die ready. Don't die ready. Let's do it. The one fun thing about this deck in in Magic Online is that I don't have to keep track of the counters. Oh, Vine Mare into Oh, Vine Mare also is insane in this deck. Because it just guarantees Ronus will always be online. Uh, no, no, no. I rarely play my own builds because I just... I play so many decks. This is the deck that went 5-0. In a league. So that's what we're playing. Ooh. This guy. What are the odds the servant survives? Actual zero, but actually 100%, I guess. Frank also makes me think Dub's khakis because I started... Oh, the old Racky khakis. Those were good dudes. I was born very unprepared. If I had to do it all over again, I'd like I'd go to newborn me and be like, See, you should have been, you should have been ready. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would shake that newborn me. And, uh, you know, not not to any, any scary degree to give it shaking baby syndrome or anything, but... You know, in such a way that I would be like, listen, buddy, you need to get it together and fast. How does the, how does this deck deal with a uh, vine mare? I was off yesterday and waited and waited and, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, yesterday I, I had to sort a bunch of cards to sell. Oh, I see. And, um, yeah, I just had so much to do. So I was just like, you know what? I need to take a. Take a little breather here. You take a little blow breather. breather, 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 breather. Uh, we're just going to do one of these jobberinos. Is it climb to put another counter on here? I think it's probably Ronus, right? Um, green. Cervantes. Get him. Sure. Easy game, easy life. Oh my god, you help your friend sort hundred. I mean, I'm thinking I'm mostly done. I I just got a bunch of stuff. I got like a, a bunch of stuff to sell the card kingdom. So Oh, well then. Isn't that cute? Alright, well this is just aggressive uh five power dudes dot deck over here. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now we're shy of both of these too. So we can just deal 10 to you? I guess next turn you can get back Champion of Wits. But that costs you 4. I guess you could block here, but that doesn't seem great for you. I just spent all night searching on Sister for Path to Exile. Maybe I should just sort my card. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the reason I'm meticulous about sorting my cards. I am uh, very, very... St I'm a... I, I keep my stuff very well organized. <sighs> Trample is good. But we'd have to do it twice to make either of these relevant. Relevance. I think it's just, I think it's just Hydra right here. Yeah. 
if I thought we could get counters on this guy uh, to, to give this guy flying, I'd probably be on board with that, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Oh, champion's a black zombie. That's pretty good. So this this vine mare is really really going the distance here. It seems. They could Vraska's contempt our Ronus, which would be tragic. I wish I knew how to donate on me too. Me too. For obvious reasons. Interesting. I think we just take nine here. I mean, if they get back champion, like, that's their turn. If they exile Ronus to go to 12, we still have infinite power on board. Yeah, we're just going to take nine here. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I don't I still even if they fail to push one of the servants. This is weird. That was a weird attack. Kill you? Cannot um, okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Interesting attack there. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. I mean you know. I wanna bring in contempts here. Maybe they forgot Hydra had text. It's possible. It is possible. Uh, I played the Green Red Sarkon enchantment deck on stream last week, and I actually posted a video to YouTube. You can check that bad boy out if you like. Uh, in a nutshell, I think the deck is fine. I just, I don't even know, I'm not even sure if, um, I'm not even sure if Sarkon's unsealing is actually worth it, though. It's a really bad top deck. Well, these are two bad lands. Oh, those aren't bad lands at all. It's on the draw. We'll keep this.
I mean, Land of War Elf ramps you to three, and this deck really focuses on the two. I mean, you get to go turn three Constrictor, turn four Constrictor, which is pretty okay. Basic. Dang it. Black, green, constrictor boy. He did. Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. The sad thing is there's only... Ah, we can just play this guy, I guess. It's not great, but... See, next turn, if we draw land, we can go Constrictor into Rishkar, which is nice. Land. Deal. All right, so we can go black, green... Snakey boy. All right, that was a good turn. Oof. Oof. Well, they're one land shy of activating that, which is nice. Doomfall. Exile's a creature. Yep, this is pretty good. Hmm. I don't think we can win this game, to be quite honest with you. I think being on the play favors us greatly here. Yep, all right, we're just gonna scoop because they literally have infinite. <laughs> Yeah, like, even if we sack one of these guys, they can still alpha. I'll block this guy. We'll take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go to four, and they'll just get that guy back. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. Also saw a lot more tiny dudes that game. I'm going to take the Galtas out. Bring in Fatal Pushes. Actually, we'll leave one Galta in. Take out the Vraska. Bring another Galta. All right. Apparently, their deck was more aggressive than I thought. I thought they were a control deck with uh, Scarab Gods and Nickel Boluses, but apparently not. What was their life total at? I, would we have won that game if we had Donis climbed? They're at 18. Like, how does Sedanus climb win us the game? Oh, would that just have one on the spot? Like, because our snake, it goes to nine. Oh my god, that would have been insane. I wonder if that would have... Do we have the mana for that?
Yeah, no turn two drop with uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven two drops in the deck is pretty stupid, but. So five lands, we used three of them to play Hadana's Climb. Because I know we tapped out for um, Virtuous Gear Hulk. So three to cast the, the Climb. We have two untapped. Uh, it flips. No, we wouldn't have had enough mana. It flips into Wing Temple. So we have two untapped lands and a Wing Temple. Wing Temple requires three mana and a, and a tap. I mean, without blocking, we couldn't live another turn. We were going to four, and that was assuming we block the... Uh... Oh, she's saying if we if we hit the land drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I feel like Hadana's Climb with Vine Mare is pretty good. Well, that guy can be countered pretty easily, so we'll just play Hydra here. I feel like Vine Mare kind of wins us the game if it. Yep, that's what I figured. Vine Mare is like a bristling Hydra that you don't have to activate to give Hexproof. Gonna keep playing guys that are not vine mares. Oh, interesting. This guy's resolving. Is he dead? Okie dokie. Well, we had a good run. All right, well, now we can resolve a Vine Mare, at least. That's pretty cool. Unless they literally hit Blue Land, Essence Scatter. Oh, it's possible. I have my doubts, though. Okay, more so now. I'm pretty sure this card is just going to... Oh, they have Doom Falls, though. Oh, yeah, well, this is actually... Oh, no, they're looking for it, though. They're digging. Not dead yet. Okay, okay. Taken two. One, two, three. Oh, man. One more land. Actually, we can, we're going to flip the Hadana's Climbs, aren't we? Oh, it's legendary. I'm not good at this game. Yep. All right. So that was that's good to know. We cannot have multiple Hadana's Climbs in play. Word to the wise. You guys can you guys can break me for that one in the comments. That's a good that's good times. Sure, that's actually all fine. I 
So, uh, technically speaking, it would have been better to Vraska's contempt of this guy. So we're going to get a counter on here. Yep, figured you get Bristling Hydra. That's totally fine. Totally fine everywhere. Everything is good. Hmm. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to activate. Deal you 16. You can pump this guy to a 5. This guy's going to be a 6. All right, let's go to combat first and see what happens. So we could attack you. If only we had a way to give you one more. We're going to go to your face because you can't actually pump this guy twice right now. Okay, that seems fine. And now we can get rid of the Nicol Bolas. One, two, three, four. Exile you. And one, two, play you. This feels good because now we're Doomfall proof as well. One, two, three, four, five. Are you just going to play this guy again? I mean, Vraska's Contempt Doomfall is pretty good. Okay. I mean, you can only get back Champion. Okay. This guy can't be blocked. So this is 16 damage. And then if we have any removal spell, we can get, we can get in for two more. But, I mean, you have three cards and three lands, which is a good amount. We also get to draw a card, which is nice. Now we don't. Sure. All right, so black, green, this guy. Attack you. One, two, three, 16, yeah. I don't know how they get out of this, but No blocks. If you had the other climb, you would have won here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like how I don't have a way to win the game. <sighs> okay, attack you and uh, attack you. So this guy can't be blocked, right? This is a black creature, this is a black creature, and this is a black creature, right? So we give this guy flying and it forces him to have two outs. So. I can't imagine they flash in a non-black creature that doesn't have flying.
Okay. Mistakes were made. All right. Well, we gave them an extra turn, unfortunately. Gear Hulk isn't out. Yep, that is correct. I mean, we haven't seen a Gear Hulk in all these games. I just didn't expect it, to be fair. Um, they can't draw any more cards. So bad. <laughs> God. Oh, I love armchair Twitch criticism. I happen to win all of my FNMs. Uh, I read all of the Star City Games articles, and you made a misplay on stream, and um, I'm going to tell you all about it. Yep. All right. We're done here. Uh, actually, we'll see what happens. Yep. So basically, we couldn't lose. We couldn't lose this game if we actually just played around Gear Hulk. I didn't see Gear Hulk any of the games. I actually have no idea what this deck plays. So that's good to know. This doesn't feel like a Gear Hulk deck to me, but what do I know? All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we just give the other guy flying. We win the game there. I try to double our guys because I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know the Flash guy. I literally just forget about Torrential Gear Hulk. What are you gonna do? All right. But also keep in mind, I play standard maybe once every two weeks. So <laughs> it does take a little while to get reacquainted with all the cards in the format. And it's a learning experience. You learn just as much when you lose, if not more so than when you win. Uh, hand seems good. I will keep it. Is it Constrictor first, or are we siphoning? Hmm. Oh, we're Constrictoring. Yep. All right. What are we doing here? Rish carring? Rish rishking it all? No, we're definitely getting in there now. If you want to block this guy, that's more than fine.
Oh, no attack with the heart of Karen? That's a good sign. That's a lovely sign. Oh, well, that would have been nice if it was a land that we could play. But, all things considered, what do we got? Eight. So this guy costs four. So we can actually play Servant and Galta here. Or alternatively, Glenslave Siphoner and Galta. Well, we're not attacking now because Winding Constrictor is just too valuable for the cause. That's a big dude. Fashion relate to the party, I think. I like that Trample is like just buried. Calls Primal Hunter costs X less, uh, where X is the pedal power among creatures you control. Also Trample. I think we're, I think we're in good shape here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana technically. We can play both of these or this and this and keep two guys up. So you crew here, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Three, four. Hmm. I'm gonna go Hydra. Hydra almost seems Hydra seems better than Vine Mare in this matchup. No one does remember the Reach on World Breaker. That's that's true. Um I'm just gonna play Siphoner here off of uh actually it does like I don't I'm just gonna get two, so we're gonna go to nine. I think nine is probably better than than eight a lot of times it would be inconsequential but having three activations on bristling hydra is pretty good i feel like this this these green matchups are like the first one to resolve a galta is pretty much favored right just because like it's so hard for the the, the green decks to deal with galta I guess Blossoming Defense, and you have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, tw you could like triple block and then Blossoming Defense. Oh god. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, yeah, alright. I mean, you kill everything here if they have Blossoming Defense. It's a 4 for 1. Yep. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and we still get to deal 1 point. Okie dokie. That is a that is a strong trade. I don't foresee you coming back from that. And we did it. Are you saying the thing it takes for from decks and give them a run? Yeah, definitely. I have never stopped doing that. If you guys are interested in deck critiques, the information is in my Twitch profile. You can check that out. I kind of like Cartouche here. The lifelink is pretty relevant, especially on a card like Galta. I can also see Veraska's Contempt because it gives us the, uh, the the leg up. I don't care about Vine Mare. Fatal Push, not, it's not great. Uh, walking Ballista is pretty meh. I'll keep two Vine Mares in, though. I feel like we've been finding comedy gold for Frank here, and he just doesn't appreciate... Really? Is that, is, that what, is that what you feel like? Hmm... 
<laughs> this hand is pretty rough. I am not going to keep it. This hand is great. I am going to keep it. I'll put you on the bottom because I don't think I need a third Cervantes of the Conduit. Conduit. Burlista? What are you guys talking about? Starbucks employees? I was a barista for about five years of my life. In total. I think it was a three-year stretch and a two-year stretch. I appreciate the uh, the valuable lessons I've gained making coffee. Making coffee. That's from... It's from Saturday Night Live, but... You know, they don't say coffee. I'm going to leave a servant because if we hit into land, we can play both of these. And getting the energy counter is not super efficient, but having mana is... One land off the top that does not come into play. No blocks. We did not hit a land, just to be, just to be clear. See, this is this is and this is the matchup where uh, not matchup, but this is the game where our opponent just crushes us. Nothing but tears. Nothing but tears from here on out. Bang bang bang. There's a lot of things that they're doing. I'm doing less things. Fewer things. I'm doing fewer things. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to block either of these idiots. It's so hot over here that my phone turned off in the shade. Jesus, Matthew Ari. Good lord, buddy. I don't know how we actually come back from this nonsense. I mean, Hadana's Climb is nice, but it doesn't really do anything here. Contempt is worth keeping up. Gear Hulk is good. I guess we just go Servant? Oh, that's so bad, though. All it does is give us two... I mean, just because it lets us play Gear Hulk next turn. Dip it in ice cream to cool off. That's a good idea, actually. If you bury your phone in the ice cream, then it can't get too hot. Uh, I don't know if we need a Galta right here. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to cost eight mana. It's not ideal. I'm just going to keep up this Vraska's Contempt and uh, hope they don't have Blossoming Defense as their last card. If they did, I have to assume they would have attacked with Thorn Lieutenant as well. But We ain't going to die to no heart of Kieran. Shoot. Oh, old Roni. Phony Roni. Phony McRoni. No jokes are good here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get rid of this. Land off the top lets us play this Gear Hulk. And that's a good that's a good blockeroo. Oh god. Why? I wanna go to the next game. Kind buds, probably just standard today. It is a standard kind of day. I'm gonna add one fatal push. Fatal pushine. 
I don't love Fatal Push in this matchup because they have a lot of expensive guys too. Oh boy, that's a bad hand. Oh, this hand's actually reasonable because of the Siphoner, so. I miss Vintage? It's Oh, Vintage Cube, I assume you mean? I always miss Vintage Cube. Um... I'm going to put this on top, and the reason being, we get a free card off of Glint Sleeve Siphoner if we do. We can go Fetid Pools this turn. Next turn, we can play uh, Aether Hub and Glint Sleeve Siphoner to make us two energy, and then we can draw a card immediately. So it's basically like just drawing a free card, and we get to draw the card we would have uh, drawn anyway by, by playing the Aether Hub. So kind of interesting little little caveat there. I will draw a card. That was a good card. The other card, however, not so much. Where are all the friggin' two and three drops in this deck, man? Come on. Well, that's a thing. No extra card for me. Fine mare. One, two, three, four. Alright, so they can't attack yet, which is nice, but they undoubtedly have a creature that lets them attack next turn. <clears throat> so now it's a race. So we have six power on board, leaving Galt at a cost six. We don't have that kind of that kind of luxury here. What? Aggressive. Oh, for crying out loud. Solid plays are solid. Just take nine here? Jesus. We could block here and trade. Feels bad, man. Feels Batman. I guess it is a two for one, and we just hope to draw Vraska's Contempt. We have two two shots. Gross. So we're basically just dead, right? Yeah, we're dead. All right, this game, this this deck, this is this deck is something. We are 0-2 currently. Ooh, not thrilled about it. I mean, to be fair, I think we threw away our first game. Well, yeah, we definitely did. We definitely threw away the... Um... God, Winding Constrictor is so relevant to this deck that I'm really tempted to keep this basically mono Winding Constrictor hand. Okay, we'll do it. We're on the draw. We definitely threw away one of the games in the first round by not pumping the... I almost thought pumping the Hexproof was greedy, but... I'm pumping the Hexproof. Pumping the, the Vine Mare was greedy, but... Uh, turns out it would have just won the game. Greed is fine when it's calculated, I suppose. Kagan, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, I guess. This guy's either getting countered or killed immediately. Countered. Okay. 
Yeah, I just want to play counter spells in standard. Everyone's doing two broken of things that I just I can't. I'm just like no, just give me the counter spells. So next turn we can draw a one drop and play Hadana's Climb. Except there's no one drops in our deck, so we can't do that. Oh, a Jeskai control deck, eh? All right. Oh, a little glinty. This card is not surviving. Immediately dead. Kapow. You got it. Thank you. The Cheese Knight. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the support. Also, a cheese knight is my favorite kind of knight. Oh, good. Ah, oh, Teferi with no pressure on the board. How nice. Well, I guess that's a thing. That they're just going to Essence Scatter. Cool. Alright, well, I had fun. Did you guys have fun? I'm having a good time. Walking Ballista seems really bad in this deck. I mean, despite the fact that it's great with, with Winding Constrictor, like, I feel like it's not great in this metagame right now. Bring in the Duresses and the Negate. I think we're fine with everything else. Man, whatever. Magic is hard. Nobody will see me. <laughs> no one expects the magma spray. Let's hold up. Let's go. Hold up. Drop a Galta? Why would I ever do that? I'm going to drop a Galta for a Vraska. That's what I'm going to do. Shut them down. Open up shop. That's how Rough Riders roll. Yeah, this hand seems fine. This guy into this guy? And they don't even get to counter it? Please. All our creatures are gonna die. Why does the word supple make me so uncomfortable? Just read it in a Patreon post. Oh, you read it in my Patreon post, didn't you? I said supple reward tears. Yeah. That's right. I think that's why I put it, because I'm like, this is a cool, uncomfortable word. Oh, that's gas. That's all I wanted. I just wanted someone to feel uncomfortable by the word supple. Don't braid me, bro. Okay, well, I asked you not to, but I guess that was too much to ask. That's cool. I'm just going to play this guy now because I don't like the odds of not playing him now. John, supple eggs, man. Those are those are the those are the old days, dude. 
That's a throwback. Oh, supper reward tears? That's a good one, too. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, this game hath ended. They are at least two turns away from casting anything like a Settler Wreckage. So we get in for three, then we get in for eight. They go they go white land here. Bring forth the horse of justice. Justice horse. That's what we're doing. Oh, they did get a white source. One source closer to the edge. And I'm about to break, as uh as my boy Chester would say. Rip. Gone but not forgotten. Oh, really? You're gonna play a blue creature? See, like this deck, I wouldn't expect to play Champion of Wits either. Apparently, I just have no idea what decks in Standard are doing. So, what do we got? Five, six, seven, eight. So, this guy costs four. So, we can just play both of these next turn for four. I mean, we could technically we're walking into a settle, but not a fumigate, which is nice. They could not even have fumigate if they're playing things like Champion of Wits. I don't know, man. Neither does anyone else, so it's cool. Fantastic. That's all I need to know. Don't be a land. Okay. Thanks. Land. I mean, I guess fingers crossed for no... For no settle. Yep. How come this Vimer doesn't have trample? <laughs> oh boy. That'll do. That'll do, pig. God, our deck is unbeatable. Says the the O2 deck with the uh, going to game three. I mean, I'm still going to attribute one of our losses to moi, but uh, his hooves are too supple. Those are some supple hooves. Hoofs. Hoofs, if you will. But you shouldn't. But if you will. Can't believe the four mana five three extra only has a small amount of it. Not sufficient evasion. Please add more. Goreclaw would help give him trample. Do I like Goreclaw better than Bristling Hydra? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Three Glint Sleeve Siphoners is a weird number. One negate is a weird number. I can I concur. There is some concurrence here. Concurrence? Is that a word? And this is where the chat's like, you're the English major, you should tell us. And then I would be all like, listen, buddy, just because I'm an English major doesn't mean I uh, know every single word that exists in the English language. That is, those are not, uh, you know, things. Ooh, this hand is, this hand is spicy. Give me a two drop. Give me a dose drop. <laughs> C 
congratulations are in order. I went and got engaged. Oh, wow. Wait, congratulations are in order. Like you're telling me I should congratulate you. How dare you? I'll congratulate you whenever I want to. But also congratulations, XC Blaze. Way to go, buddy. It's the problem with holding up in the gate against the deck that doesn't care if you do anything. Oh, God. Oh, are you going to do something? Oh, dang it. Oh, biscuits. Just be happy. I am happy for you. I just congratulated you, man. Oh, my God. Take it down a notch. God, I hope this woman knows what she's in for, you monster. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's just going to die, right? We'll do one of these jobbies. Why do I always assume congratulations to be plural? Sometimes just one. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate you. So, congratulation. You get one. Everybody gets one. Oh, they put a Magnus Spray in the trash can? Maybe this would have been better. I mean, they still have other things, I'm sure. I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch. Gonna glint sleeve siphon her hair. What's LOTVs? What is that? But um, well, that's our one. That was our one negate. I thought my beard was too beardly. Now all of a sudden it's key. Now it's now it's going to be like the deciding factor as to whether they 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 stay together. Man, what an emotional roller coaster this is. Uh, we're gonna actually try to get in there with our quattro quattro's thrace. Give me that energy. They have two cards in hand? Well, this seems promising. No, we're going to start with this guy. This is really like Fumigate. Oh, you're just going to counter this guy? All right, you got one card in hand. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Don't. Okay, that's not that's not a concern. We're gonna draw an extra card. Everything's doing okay. We're gonna play a land. We're gonna gear Hulk. We're gonna Hadada's climb. We're gonna be climbing all over. I think we're winning. Sandbag Fumigate. They got more guys than we do. Do what you gotta do. Say what you need to say. All right, we're going to do that. And we're probably going to go... Probably should have played Winding Constrictor first. Maybe. I think we're flipping and going one, two, three. Yeah, we should have played Winding Constrictor first. Now we feel stupid. Oh, Biscuits. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lily out of the veil, how the mighty are. <laughs> oh, well. That's just such an obscure reference, right? Like you said, uh,. You know what? I don't know.
Hey, we didn't run. We could have after it flipped. They're at four. They got a fumigate one time. Hey, you gonna fumigate? Oh, that's not gonna do it. Oh, that's not. That's death. I think we won. I think we won this game. It's over, boys and girls. We had a good run. Good game ooze. Well, that's that. All right, sweet. Got him. Nah, for the climb. Climb for days. All right. All righty then. I don't have any real input on this deck. I think you want more Glint Sleeve Siphoners. I also think you could probably cut down on the Blistas. Blistas are super cool with, with with Winding Constrictor, but, like, I can't think of a real deck this card is actually great against. So what I would do, I would put in one Gore Claw. I don't even have a Gore Claw. Dang. I'm going to make I'm gonna make some changes anyway. I can't believe you beat up someone who likes the... <laughs> If I lost to every person who's like big fan, like deliberately lost, I threw the games because I'm like, I don't, I, I can't beat a fan. I would never win games. Well, that's, oh, that doesn't, I don't like the way that sounded at all. I apologize if that sounded super, I would never win games. <laughs> I would win significantly fewer games. Creature spells you cast with power four or greater. Yeah, this card seems great, dude. I'm going to get two of these guys. <laughs> if I if I conceded to all my fans, I'd never win. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jesus. Oh God, blow my brains out. All right, two of these guys. One Scarab God. And then one more uh, Glen Sleep Siphoner. And I'm gonna take all these out. I don't like these at all. I think this looks better to me. Walking Blist also doesn't really help you cast this guy, but Goreclaw does. Also, Goreclaw makes all of these things cost two less. Which is pretty sick. And this Ronus. Like, all this... Like, that's just a good ability. Creature creature spells you cast with power four or greater cost two less. That's great. Each creature you control with power four or greater gets plus one, plus one. That's gas, dude. That's gas. And it's only one green? Shoot. Yeah, I like this configuration. So if you guys are trying this deck out, I would recommend trying it like this. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys, I said it last time, if you guys are going to dislike the content, if you guys are going to thumbs down, tell me why in the description. Just let me know why, and I'll uh, we can we can fix it. We can make it better, and that that, that leads to better content. Um, Either way, if you want to support me on Patreon or uh, Twitch, you can find both of the links in the description below. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching and hanging out, and I'll see you next time.